The genre doesn't get any better than this. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 20 comic book movies ever. For this list, we're looking at the greatest films ever made that were based on comic books or graphic novels, including both the superhero and non-superhero variety. We're limiting our picks to one entry per film series, or in the case of the MCU, one entry per titular hero or team. Let's get busy. Maybe a quarter of it happened, and not like this. Number 20, Sin City. This anthology film, based on the Frank Miller graphic novel series of the same name, follows interrelated members of the criminal underworld in the fictional Basin City. Filmed primarily in black and white, but with selective use of color, Sin City is a highly stylized neo-noir crime movie populated by crooks, murderers, and gangs that you hate to love and love to hate. Come on, you son of a bitch. Damn, he's slick. Well, not for everyone, Sin City is an excellent adaptation of its source material. The gratuitous violence makes some scenes hard to stomach, but the grim yet engrossing storytelling and arresting visuals are sure to keep your eyes glued to the screen. Whatever you say. Number 19, Watchmen. Given that it's an adaptation of one of the most celebrated graphic novels of all time, Watchmen had a lot to live up to when it finally hit the big screen in 2009. Hey, Shannon, leave me alone! Set in an alternate history of the 20th century, where costume vigilantes were real and involved in world events, Watchmen is mostly faithful to its source material. Though the few departures were understandably polarizing, actually pretty much everything about the film is polarizing, but that's Zack Snyder for you. Regardless of its shortcomings, the movie has gorgeous cinematography and many of the characters feel as if they've stepped right off the page. Even if it doesn't satisfy hardcore fans or creator Alan Moore, Watchmen remains a groundbreaking comic book adaptation. The most powerful thing in the universe is still just a puppet. We're all puppets, Lori. Number 18, Snowpiercer. Based on the French graphic novel Le Transpercent Edge, Snowpiercer is set after a climate engineering disaster leaves the world a frozen wasteland. With nowhere else to go, the world's last humans survive aboard a train that circles the globe. Precisely 74% of you shall die. The film follows the exploited and mistreated workers in the tail section as they rise up against the wealthy elite who live in luxury in the frontmost cars. They've got no bullets! Snowpiercer combines engaging action and occasional horror elements with timeless commentary on inequality and does so using visuals as varied as each new car. Directed by Parasite director Bong Joon-ho, the film landed on many year-end lists. Curtis, you have to lead us. Number 17, Black Panther. The first Marvel Cinematic Universe movie on our list, Black Panther expanded the world of the MCU in a major way. It follows a titular superhero and king of Wakanda as he navigates a coup and learns what it means to be king. It's about two billion people all over the world that looks like us, but their lives are a lot harder. Wakanda has the tools to liberate them all. Black Panther crafts a gorgeous and inventive land that feels fully fleshed out from the moment we see it. The technologically advanced African country of Wakanda is truly a pleasure to explore and easy to get lost in. The film also features a strong cast and a particularly compelling antagonist in Killmonger, who easily ranks among the MCU's best villains to date. Although Black Panther may have a few questionable CGI moments, it's still worthy of the hype. Wakanda forever! Wakanda forever! Number 16, Wonder Woman. There aren't many female-led superhero films out there, but Wonder Woman is easily the best of them. Here's hoping that it's joined by many more. The movie follows Amazon warrior and demigoddess Diana, who after meeting an American pilot and spy, leaves her island home of Themyscira to end World War I. Despite a somewhat divisive third act and disappointing lack of invisible jets, Wonder Woman is a fantastic movie. Boasting stellar action and two very charming lead actors, it's full of heart and contains a powerful message on the costs of war. The No Man's Land scene in particular was highlighted as being among 2017's best cinematic moments. Number 15, Guardians of the Galaxy. 
Quit smiling, you idiot. You're supposed to be a professional. An entertaining mixtape of a movie, Guardians of the Galaxy follows a disparate group of criminals and near-do-wells who, thrown together by circumstance, must work together to thwart the villainous Ronin, a Kree zealot who seeks an object of incredible power. Well known for its classic rock soundtrack and hilarious humor, Guardians of the Galaxy also has some fantastic action and a surprising amount of heart to be found from its lovable, roguish heroes. His people are completely literal. Metaphors are gonna go over his head. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. If you're looking for a comic book movie that's sure to put a smile on your face, you're hard-pressed to find a better option than Guardians of the Galaxy. Companion, what were you retrieving? You're an imbecile. Number 14. Joker Despite its title and the reputation of its central character, Joker is a surprisingly serious film. It depicts the life of a clown and aspiring comedian Arthur Fleck, who struggles with severe mental illness. <laughs> Overwhelmed by the hand he's been dealt and the uncaring society in which he attempts to survive, his life spirals out of control before our very eyes. Although set in the 1980s, Joker is very much a film about contemporary societal concerns, from government cutbacks to the plight of the mentally ill. Hey, Art! We need to talk! With its timely themes, gorgeous cinematography, and a haunting Oscar-winning performance by Joaquin Phoenix, Joker will stay with you long after you've watched it. Like a good joke, or a bad one. One small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Number 13. Deadpool. This R-rated superhero film follows the titular, irreverent, and self-aware mercenary mutant on a quest for vengeance. His target, Ajax, the man responsible for disfiguring and, ironically, giving him the abilities to make Wade Wilson such a lethal threat. Ringing any bells? No. How about now? Deadpool may follow plenty of the typical superhero beats, but it does so with a ton of tongue-in-cheek humor and over-the-top violence. The film helped take comic book movies to places more mature, and quite often, immature, than they had previously been. So how about a uh, crisp high five? Okay. Merry Christmas. It changed the genre by generating greater interest in R-rated superhero movies, and did so with the subtlety of Deadpool's hand on Colossus's Metal Privates. Dad? Number 12. X2. X-Men United There are many great films in the X-Men franchise that we were tempted to discuss, the excellent X-Men Days of Future Past being a top contender, but for us, the high-water mark of the main series is X2, X-Men United. You see, Logan, we're not as alone as you think. The film follows the X-Men as they do battle with a secret government agency with sinister plans for mutants, forcing them to team up with their former foes to protect their kind. The franchise's frequent metaphor of mutants as a marginalized group has rarely been better executed than in this film, and the many action sequences remain memorable and exciting to this day. Number 11. Batman as tempting as it was to include this film's sequel, Batman Returns, many would argue that director Tim Burton went a little too Tim Burton-y with that one to top its predecessor. By contrast, 1989's Batman helped shape the modern superhero movie as we know it today. <laughs> Not only was it among the first successful superhero origin stories, but it also highlighted the role that heroes and villains have in shaping each other, with both the Joker and Batman causing conflict between them through their actions. <laughs> Featuring great performances all around and just enough of its director's trademark whimsical darkness, Batman is an absolute classic. Those are my balloons. Number 10. V for Vendetta This dystopian movie is set in a fascist version of Great Britain, ruled by the Norse Fire Party through fear and oppression. The film follows a young woman named Evie, who after being rescued by a masked vigilante known only as V, is pulled into his revolutionary efforts. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder, treason, and plot. 
Having been subjected to horrific experiments by Norse Fire himself, V seeks to destroy the regime and inspire widespread revolt. V for Vendetta may not have the subtlest commentary, but it's still an excellent movie with some truly spine-tingling sequences that will elicit horror, excitement, and awe. Plus, its real-world influence on anti-establishment movements can't be overstated. It's certainly a movie that won't soon be forgotten. Here's you. And me. Here's all of us. Number 9. Thor Ragnarok Father? Oh, shit. Ah! My son Thor has returned. After the death of his father and the return of the goddess of death to Asgard, God of Thunder Thor must fight his way back from exile to protect his home. Thor Ragnarok is a marked departure from its predecessors in the best way, featuring much more action and humor than past installments, although some fans and critics felt that the humor verged on being excessive. Piss off, ghost! He's freaking gone. There's no denying that this film was a blast start to finish, featuring a bright aesthetic and beautifully realized locales that feel like they're lifted straight out of the comics. Thor Ragnarok is like a raging fire for the eyes. Or a smoldering one. The metaphor isn't super clear, but it's great. Yes! I have to get off this planet. Number 8. Superman the Movie the granddaddy of the modern superhero film. Superman the movie has all the hallmarks of the genre that it helped popularize. Hey, Jim. Excuse me. Origin story, check. Love interest who's in need of a rescue, but can also match wits with the hero, check. Villain who occasionally upstages the protagonist with how entertaining they are, check. Although the movie can feel a bit dated and cheesy at times, that's part of its charm, as well as the charm of its wholesome hero. Bye, Frisky. Come on now. Bye. Clark Kent may be the Man of Steel, but it's his forthright and kind nature that inspires us and has helped Superman remain one of the greatest comic book movies ever made. Number 7. Spider-Man 2 Don't get us wrong, the original Sam Raimi Spider-Man is a great film in its own right. But if we're talking about the best comic book movies, Spider-Man 2 is undeniably more deserving of the spot. In this beloved sequel, Peter Parker wrestles with his dual identity as Spider-Man and also faces off against supervillain Dr. Octopus, a man he once admired. You've stuck your webs in my business for the last time. Now you'll have this woman's death on your conscience. The exploration of its central hero is one of the best in the franchise, and the film's action sequences are not just spectacular, they're also some of the most iconic in all superhero cinema. Oh, and who could forget the memes? Pizza time. Number 6. Iron Man The film that launched the Marvel Cinematic Universe is one of the all-time greats. The story of Tony Stark's redemption from selfish weapons manufacturer to a slightly less selfish superhero may feel familiar now, but that's only because this film made such a colossal impact. Driven by Robert Downey Jr.'s pitch-perfect performance as Tony Stark, Iron Man has a swagger and confidence that's hard to match. The action is simply marvelous. <laughs> then there's the excellent dialogue, which makes it almost impossible to believe that the script wasn't finished at the time of shooting. That's right, they improved their way to one of the best comic book movies ever made. Truth is, I am Iron Man. Number 5. Captain America, The Winter Soldier you know, you're a lot heavier than you look. You had a big breakfast. As great as the spectacle and emotional conflict of Captain America's Civil War is, its predecessor is even better. The second Captain America solo film follows Steve Rogers as he tries to unravel a conspiracy inside of S.H.I.E.L.D., while also combating a menacing assassin, both of which have ties to his past. <laughs> 
a deft blend of superhero movie and espionage action film, Captain America The Winter Soldier has timely themes, a great ensemble cast led by Chris Evans, and some truly exceptional fight scenes and set pieces that still make our jaws drop, even after multiple viewings. You know me. No, I don't! Number 4. Logan this Western-inspired X-Men movie follows an older and embittered Wolverine as he's pulled into one last adventure. After encountering a young girl pursued by a sinister organization, Logan makes it his personal mission to get her to safety. Not okay. <laughs> Sorry. Bleak, uncompromising, and yet oddly hopeful, Logan is a violent and tragic film that not only pulses with action, but hits you right in the feels with some of the saddest moments of any comic book movie. I gave you a family. They're gone now. In a genre so rife with origin stories, Logan manages to be so impactful by showing how heroes end. While the result isn't always easy to watch, it's definitely worth it. And it is better this way. Because I suck at this. Number 3. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse the only animated movie to make our list, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is an outlier in more ways than one. Hey. Okay, then. Uh, I'll see you around. Oh, see you. <laughs> hey! Um. This film takes the familiar story of Spider-Man and turns it upside down, inside out, expertly parodies it, and celebrates it all at the same time. I'm a comic book, I'm a serial, did a Christmas album, I have an excellent theme song, and a uh, so-so popsicle. Watching Miles Morales learn to become a new kind of wall-crawling hero along with the other spider people he encounters is an absolute treat that surprises and delights throughout. Why did I get stuck with a janky old broke hobo Spider-Man? That's new. And did we mention how freaking gorgeous the movie is? If any film captures the essence of comic book art and translates it to the big screen, it's this one. And it's a no on the cape. I think it's cool. Take that off. It's disrespectful. Ah! Spider-Man doesn't wear a cape. Number two, Avengers Endgame. See you in a minute. There were several great Avengers movies we considered for this spot in our list. The original Avengers raised the stakes for the whole MCU with its unprecedented crossover. Then Infinity War did the same, but on an even bigger, more frightening scale. But Endgame is the best of the best in our view. The conclusion and climax of the first 22 movies in the cinematic universe, Avengers Endgame managed a daunting task masterfully, while also being poignant, action-packed, and hilarious throughout. So he's an idiot. Yeah. We laugh, we cry, and we cheer, no matter how many times we watch it. Avengers! Assemble. Before we get to our top pick, here's a few comic book page turners who deserve some honorable mention. A History of Violence. Yeah, I'm Joey. That's what we do now. Scott Pilgrim versus the World. You're here. Didn't you know? Todd's vegan. Hellboy. The death of Stalin. I need a vodka. I need a wash. Well, we didn't drop him. Well done, us. Dread. How do you want it, kids? Body bags or juve cubes? Makes no difference to me. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Dark Knight With Endgame at number 2, there's only one film that could take our top spot. As great as the other parts of Christopher Nolan's trilogy are, Batman Begins and The Dark Knight Rises can't quite measure up to The Dark Knight. No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. After all, the whole trilogy is named after it. Well, you look nervous. Is it the scars? You want to know how I got them? What more can we say about this film that hasn't been said already? The Dark Knight is a battle between Batman and the Joker for the very soul of Gotham City. I took Gotham's white knight and I brought him down to our level. Practically every scene in line of dialogue 
has left a mark on pop culture. It's not just one of the best comic book movies ever made, it might be one of the best movies, period. You're either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.